Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Velvet Lounge Life Outlander Edition 100% Spoilers and Extras. Check out our playlist, I will attach a little link for you down below as well as a link to this episode. So, a couple of housekeeping things. I am going to, as I stated, 100% spoil season five for you and beyond. So if you're not looking to even have a slight idea of what's coming up, you might want to just keep this video running, but close your ears a little bit or turn up the music because, wow, have I got some news for you. There's a few things that I'm going to discuss in this episode. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can catch the future episodes. But as we all know, um, or maybe you don't know, but there's going to be approximately, I believe, 12 episodes this season when Outlander begins again in February 2020 here in the United States. And uh, I know it seems like forever, but it really isn't. It's almost here. It'll be here before you know it. But in the meantime, to bridge some of that drought lander, stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. As far as I know, I don't know um, how Outlander is seen in the United Kingdom. I know it's on Netflix. So I believe that that's how most of our UK family is getting this. And one of the things that you, of course, need to know is that Netflix is, I believe, just beginning to air season four around the time that we will be watching season five in the United States. So if you have any questions about, you know, anything you want me to spoil any questions about what you've seen so far or what you if you want to know what's coming up just leave a comment down below for, of this video and I will get back to you I will actually reply of course to your comment um, but also if you have any other questions please leave those down below but no worries, we're going to spoil everything. Um, so as you know, and this is just a quick review, um, is that at this point, Claire, Jamie, Roger, Brianna, their whole crew, which includes Lizzie and her father, the Bug family have joined them as well, um, and others, of course, Fergus is his their um, adopted son, and Ian, you know what happened with him, um, they're all in pre-American Revolutionary War America. So the land is wild, the settlers are, of course, dying because they brought over dis diseases and such with them on those ships that they um, sailed over on. Obviously, they don't really know the food. Um, they don't know a lot about the land. Um, they see a lot, but, you know, it's a different thing when it's like spring or summer. But then it's not as easy to survive in a land that has to sleep for several months in the fall and in the winter. Um, so Claire of course, becomes very popular as the resident doctor. And of course, another reason for her popularity is unlike what they would have used for traditional and non-traditional medicine back then, she can actually save some lives. No, she cannot save every single life, as we know from the previous season when the girl um, or this lady gave birth and both her and her child died of the German measles. So, you know, she can't do everything, and obviously she doesn't have all of the medical technology and tools that she needs, but she does um, innovate quite a bit this season it, with the help of Brianne, or Brie, and that's really a pretty cool thing to see as well. 
Um, so one of the things I think I talked about a little bit previously was about the origin of a cross on fire. Ergo, the title of the fifth book, The Fiery Cross. Um, the, so the Fiery Cross initially was not anything to scare, intimidate, or an excuse to murder innocent people. Um, the Fiery Cross actually was used in Scotland initially and in the Highlands to call the clans together. So when they saw this cross burning from a high hill and they also heard whatever sort of cry or howling noises were being made by the clan leaders or, you know, even their um, counterparts, they knew that there was something going on and everyone in the valley, in the locks, etc., would spread the word and they would all gather and go towards wherever the cross was on fire. So initially it was a communication device for positive as well as negative because sometimes there were wars and you know the clans had to defend themselves and that's completely different than a Ku Klux Klan who stole this tradition and turned it into something really ugly, negative, and evil. And they even took the word clan, and of course, perhaps they can't spell, I wouldn't be surprised. They took the C in the word clan and put in, instead used the letter K. Um, none of that was original to the Scottish Highlanders. As I stated, it was actually a means of communication only, and it was to call all of their folks together. So that was something that I kind of wanted to um, cover. Um, there's a couple new characters in this um, season. One is Asdo. He is a kitty cat. Yes, a meow meow purr purr type of thing. And he gets into a little bit of hijinks. But he's actually very useful because he can help control the mice population. Um, and he also has a run-in with a really large canine that is important for you to know later when I talk about that particular canine has significance to this story. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, oh, there's a question. And some people... so. Tell me what your um, thoughts are and just leave a comment down below. There's a rumor that Graham McTavish might return, a.k.a. Uncle Dougal. How is that possible? Jamie and him had a row and Jamie came out on top and Dougal should be buried in the ground. So if do you guys believe it's even possible to bring him back? As we know, yes, um, Mur you know, the character Murtaugh is in, on the television show. But as I've stated several times before, as we know in the books, he dies at Culloden. So will there be some television magic? What do you think? Leave an opinion down below. So, um... What else is happening? Do do do. Oh, of course, I talked about um, Jamie being in charge of raising this militia. Of course, he's just so, how can you say this? So loyal. That's the word, loyal. And yes, of course, the militia is raised. Um, but the good thing is they actually do not have to fight um, this time anyway. And... But unfortunately for Roger, he falls into trouble again, which I, did, I talked about in the previous video. Um, eventually, Roger um, ends up making it back to Fraser's Ridge. But before he does, after being um, held up by the regulators that, you know, they didn't go to war. Okay, so he's held up by them, but poor Roger is hung by the neck until he is basically probably dead 
but not really because he has just enough of a pulse for a doctor to figure that out, AKA Claire. And after a long trial and tribulation of healing mentally as well as physically, and he doesn't really totally mentally heal, he still has, you know, demons that he's fighting understandably. He was knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. And, you know, but he eventually does pull himself together with the help and the love of his family and friends and um, even the two Beasley boys, I always want to call them like the little boys, but they're not little. They're like very young teenage men. Um, they almost like adopt him as a dad, which is really cool. And they look up to him as like their idol. Um, no one knows why they do this or why they're um, beholden to Roger, but it is a really awesome thing to read about in the books and it's something that I wish that people were more adopting and like today as far as you know just caring about each other more and not expecting anything in return so some of the other things that occur that I definitely want to bring you guys up to par on are a couple of questions so here's another question. So leave your answer down below. Claire's parents, do you know who they are? Do you think they will be revealed? What are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. Do you think that Murtaugh will continue to survive via the television series? Or do you think he will meet an untimely end yes or no leave a comment down below yeah i want you to definitely leave some um answers so that i can get like the more information like the more you guys like try to answer answer these questions even if it's just like a conspiracy theory thing of the outlander universe which is fine because outlander is a fictional tale um, then it will just make it more fun for me to reveal some of these spoilers to you. Oh, another good question is, I, I know a lot of people have speculated about this and those that have read the entire book series know the answer, but Claire, Jamie, Roger, Bree, and baby Jemmy do you think they will ever go to the future? And if you think they'll go to the future, why? So that's, so one of the things I'm going to spoil for you right now is guess who else has the gift? Well, first of all, I have to tell you that there is a visitor that returns to the ridge. And I'm also going to tell you who else has the gift. And it's something based upon this unexpected, jaw-dropping visitor to the ridge there's actually two of them super shocking and also like I said I'm going to tell you about the gift and the gift is being able to go back to the future of course or go to the future um, but that's going to be in the very next video the other thing is guess who escapes death Stephen Bonnet. I think we know that at the end of season four, we know that he, like, you can kind of figure out, of course you saw he escapes. Um, but what's next for him? What's next for him is he actually, of course, continues his evil, thieving, robbing ways. And although he is basically a pirate, at the back of his mind, Brie is always there. And not only Brie, now that he knows based upon her visit to him at the prison, that he has a child, which of course he's never seen because she was pregnant when he vis she visited him at the prison. He is curious as well as wants to have his family. So he makes a reappearance more than once in this particular season. We already talked about how he reappeared at River Run, but he reappears later on and tries to kidnap 
Brie and Jemmy. And there is a fight, I'm not going to say to the finish, but you would think so, whereas the ladies have to bring him down. So there's this skirmish, and what happens is he ends up, they end up in Charleston, I believe it was Charleston, and when they're there, and I could have the um, town wrong, so forgive me for that, but they end up in the same southern town, and unknowingly, Claire, Jamie, all of them decide that's the best place for them, not knowing that Stephen Bonnet was in that town and there at the same exact time. So what happens is he ends up finding out that they're around. Of course, Jamie has been doing recon, but his recon is only so much because he can't leave the ridge to like follow him. So he has to get word um, sent to him like second hand. And of course, by the time it gets to him at the ridge, it's older. And so, but Stephen Bonnet, who's a pirate, a crook and a thief, and not beholden much to anyone but himself, he's, you know, able to get, you know, timely information about where the Frasers are. So he finds out that they're going to be in the same town as he is, and makes arrangements to have Jamie killed, Roger killed, and he doesn't seem to really care what happens with Claire, but he is definitely going to get his son, so he thinks it's his son, and his woman, so he thinks Brie is his woman, which she is not, and I do not believe that Jemmy is his son, and we'll talk about that more as to why, that's really interesting. But at, in the meantime, him being, you know, ignorant of the facts, he actually follows them up when they go berry picking on a beach. And they have this basically a draw to the finish. He draws out a gun, um, not knowing that the ladies also have a gun. And he, I will just skip to the facts, is he ends up getting shot in the man meat, in the ghibli bits, in the kibbles and bits, and yeah, that's enough to send him off running. And guess who shoots him? Lizzie had the gun, but Lizzie is like, oh my god, such a saint. She really wanted to widow blast him though, and she just couldn't do it. So she, he ends up getting the gun from her. It flies across the sand. His gun actually ends up goes, going flying because he's like tackled by Claire. And then um, a, from around the corner, wherever she came from, there's Bree who has, I believe she shot him with a, a gun that either fell out during the skirmish or she had a rifle. I don't remember the exact details of that. But he does end up getting shot and running off. So thankfully him running off means what? He, he's not running off with Bree and nor is he running off with Jemmy. So we do not know at this point, because I'm not going to spoil it yet, if he is dead or alive. Guess what he probably is. I'm not going to tell you, but you can guess. Um, so what else happens that I could tell you really quick? Oh, there's this other question about, <laughs> which I don't know where this came from. And some of these questions I'm throwing in because there's questions that people have asked me and I decided that I'm going to put it in, you know, try to answer them in these videos is, is there ever a reason or excuse for Claire to marry John Gray? Where do you think that came from? Or Lord John? What are your thoughts? Put them down below in the comments, of course. I can't wait to read the comments to all of these. But that's what I'm going to spoil for you today. What you're listening to in the background is what they're calling the Outlander Yule Log. And it's um, where they're playing all this beautiful holiday music. It started out with a theme song of the show. And it's really pleasing especially when you turn the light off and you you know I have a fireplace so it's like why use that when we have this 
accompanied by this beautiful music. But anyway, remember to please subscribe to our channel, comment, give us a thumbs up. At the end of the Outlander series, I am going to give away eight Outlander books, which are the book series. But in order for you to qualify to participate in that giveaway, you need to um, simply subscribe, share, comment, you know, be active as far as the videos go. So thank you guys so much for those that have already watched the other two videos. And remember that your health is wealth and without your health, you have nothing.